Ian, the question of whether AI, particularly large language modules, can become conscious, nobody really thinks they're conscious today, but can become conscious over time, is becoming a, 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 a public square issue that the, everyone has to think about. Um, normally, it's, it's uh, approached by pure physicalists that believe 100% sure that it will occur because consciousness is just a physical process. Because your view is that consciousness is an ontological primitive, that it sits below everything and that matter and consciousness are, are somehow very closely related, um, how can that influence our thinking about AI consciousness? Well, I'd have to distinguish two things, really. The first is that a, a computer that is made of metal um, is in the conscious universe, as I say, everything is, mm -hmm. including the inanimate. Mm -hmm. So it is part of that universe. The degree to which it can respond and reflect to the divine ground, what uh, uh, that divine ground has put there is very, very limited. The thing is, we will never know if some AI is conscious because it will always be um, more likely that it is simulating rather well what a conscious being would do. After all, all we know that AI can do is simulate. It's entirely parasitic. It digests all the things that human beings have created and thought, and it then takes them back into a big mishmash and then repeats them uh, in a rather downgraded form. So uh, in the 18th century, they had brazen heads that talked. They didn't look much like human beings and nobody thought that they were human. But as they've become more sophisticated, they've been able to look more and more and sound more and more like human beings, but they're asymptotically approaching a divide that they can never cross, in my view. So why can they not cross it? Because in order to have the consciousness that makes a human being, they would have to have uh, both an emotional life, a moral life, and a physical life embodied in flesh that dies and suffers. Without that, they can't know what it is that we experience, what it is that we mean when we mean things, not, nor what it is when we understand things. Uh, understanding is complicated. It's not just even knowing, which is much more complex than just amassing information. Mm. So there's information, there's knowing, and there's truly understanding, which is to be in a place among, under, has that meaning of amongst, so amongst, as German unter has, it doesn't just mean under, it means among. To be among in the context of the world, to draw data from everywhere from one's embodied being and to build a whole picture in the knowledge that we have um, only a certain time to, to live and to respond to, to what it is that life gives us. Now, until that is the state of a machine. It cannot, in my view, understand. And the complexity of what a human being does is not simulated by simply very rapidly doing exhaustive processes that we are far too intelligent to do. When minds see something, they see it in a process which is not, is exactly what, as Poincaré said, it's precisely not what a machine does. Mm -hmm. A machine goes, okay, let me look at all the data in the universe that I know, and let me put together something and find an answer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do that. And that is understanding and that is intelligence in my view. Now the problem is not that AI is going to become like humans, that's entirely impossible. But what I fear is happening very fast is that we are likening ourselves to AI. We are beginning to think of ourselves as like AI, mm. as a result to talk about ourselves as uploading to my databases and searching my RAM or whatever it may be, and talking about ourselves as though we were just machines mm. and eventually coming to believe that we are just machines. Now, I had thought that in the 20th century, we had moved on from the idea that our bodies, our minds, our souls are simply mechanical. But this movement is trying to imprison us again in the metaphor of the machine. And the machine is a very unusual thing to liken anything to. I sometimes say there are almost no machines in the universe except a handful of things we made in the last few hundred years. Nothing else in the entire cosmos is mechanical. Why think of them as something that we human beings could aspire to be like or that they could possibly equal us in our degree of understanding of the world?